world. He's pretty he's pretty calculated um as a player. Uh and that also that that also me is gonna be really tricky because when Pikachu is jumping in the air, how as Zelda are you going to intercept him? Uh, well, I guess the immediate answer is I'm not. I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to dominate center. And we're going to see FD for a good long while. Good to know that combo still worked, but are you dead? No, okay. <laughs> I thought he put a little bit extra juice on that. I like the idea behind the Nate Yours Love reflecting that uh, Thunder Jolt, but it doesn't matter. Like, that move still has enough end lag that Jopon was able to shield the shield the T jolt and just punish him after. It's matchups no. like the oh go ahead. No, you you go ahead. Uh, well, it's matchups like these where uh, Phantom really Phantom not at its full charge really starts to show how good it is as an all around move and not just as a like an individual like I charge it to full and then I do things. Because Phantom will dominate space, eat up all these T-Jolts, and let Zelda play her normal game, even without worrying about the full-screen presence that Pikachu can put upon. Wow, he did. Yet another Knight coming through, uh, covering the ledge. These quick attack angles are solid to avoid one piece of the puzzle, but he's not anticipating where Air Swimmer is going to be and how much coverage Air Swimmer has been putting on in this specifically right ledge. <laughs> Waited just a little bit to try and punish that neighbor's love, but I, he didn't quite wait enough. And as a result, Air Swimmer is now back to center stage. You know, we were talking about how, oh, it's, you know, how is Zelda going to hit Pikachu? How is Pikachu going to approach Zelda? Like, look at this. Every single time, goes to, like, one of the outer rims of the circle, charges up Phantom, and is, like, a very efficiently and effectively punishing these quick attack approaches, that T-Jolt approaches. It feels like there's, Jopone has not found a way to just, if, just hit him. Just effectively hit him. Right there required a bit of an overextension on uh, Zelda's part in order to actually punish and get the kill. Now, that's a good idea on the uh, on the thunder from below stage. Sometimes it can work out, gets you free damage, lets you get ledge, all that good stuff. Against a character with a reflector, it <laughs> can be dangerous. <laughs> nah, because then you just tech it and you look cool. Oh, yeah, He's like, dang. Calculated. Dang. <laughs> Your opponent just gets shook. Because he's just like, oh no, he's cool. <laughs> cool points acquired. <laughs> All right, way to take to the skies. Not trying to deal with uh, Zelda's uh, DPS options out of the corner. Jumping away. Getting to ledge has been fine. Getting off of it, however, <laughs> has been the trick. God, Phantom just covers so much space. It's so hard for Jopone. It has been so hard for Jopone to make his way through, but. No, 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 okay, so try it again, and on, and with the extra charge on the up smash, that would have been the killing blow. Okay. F smash wouldn't have killed from center, however, Joku manages to wrap, uh, wrap up that stock, keeping only 50% on. This is his chance if he wants to pile on some damage, and a back outer shield will do it. One, two, up air, he looked for the cheese, but good, up, uh, good way to DI out, up and out that time, uh, which is... Of course, other DI mix-ups that you can do. Pikachu can cover all of them, but it looks like Jopone has been kind of tunneling on two of the main ones. Oh, yeah. It's going to be game one for uh, Air Stormer. Man, we've seen a lot of games on FD today. It's FD and Town and City. Have we seen any game that has not been on FD and or Town and City? Wait, I think we saw, like, one game on Smashville. I think that was it. Did we? Maybe. Man, I don't know. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's, listen, it, it's... Flatfuck Wednesday. <laughs> We're playing all the flat stages. Man, All right. <laughs> with how pat, with how flat Pika can get, maybe it's That's time. True. He's just trying to blend into his surroundings. Yes, the bright yellow, rosy-cheeked rat. Can't see him, guys. Sorry. 
tape's too flat. <laughs> Everything just becomes two-dimensional. Anyway, um... Okay, we're going into this game, and it seems to be starting out much better for Joe Pone this time around. Able to get some of those early percent combos, but man, the amount of up -bees that have been connecting... It's gotta mean something, right? Either Air Summer just has a beat on where Joe Pone's gonna be, or like he does have a beat with all of the com all the combos at a down throw. Or Air Summer might just be playing so well that everything might just be working. And when it works, it works. Damage from the thunder puts him on the ledge, but I feel like for the most part, Air Swimmer has been getting off the ledge off of the ledge relatively safely. Yeah, it's it's a combination of a lot of things. That both Air Swimmer picking just picking and reacting to the right options that he needs to to get away from Pikachu's ledge trapping, and Jopon respecting Phantom so much that he's not pursuing the standard like Pikachu coverage. He said he looks for edge guards, and when he doesn't get them, he heads back to center. Which is great when you have a lead. A lot harder when you don't. Nice to, to, I, yeah, I mean, in that situation, I guess, by air dodging up, you guarantee you wouldn't die. Right? Because if you, if you, um, air dodge down, you could have gotten, like, F smashed or something like that that could have possibly killed you. Yeah, it's... I mean, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place as soon as you decide to air dodge up. Finally, taking that stock off at 161, but... You got a, you got a tall hill to Ready climb. Oh, uh, the amount of uppy... What does it mean? What does it mean when the Zelda has gotten, like, five upbeat kills? Uh, well, I mean, the first response is check your connection, but the connection's fine more or less so it maybe could just I, be, it's like always keep your eye on your opponent don't tunnel vision on what's what's going on you know right next to you because it's easy to lose track of things because zelda throws out so many projectiles like the phantom like you know the din's fire on occasion so but you always have to watch her because otherwise she'll sneak in there and look at that that's another Clean, clean game for Air Swimmer. Going up 2-0 right now. Bilbon kind of struggling to figure out the right thing to do here. And, and it's so much coverage. You're trying to react to Phantom, uh, you, but you can't wait there or else Down Tilt will catch you. Attempting to recover with your vast recovery routes? Well, not with that one because it is way, way too laggy in midair. Uh, Jopone really kind of stuck on a stage like FD, particularly when Air Swimmer was dominating center so hard. And his answers oftentimes were to tunnel vision onto uh, using Thunder Jolt as a means of like overwhelming the setup that Air Swimmer was going to do. But I mean, the native problem was that Air Swimmer already looked set up. So it didn't matter how one, two, three T-Jolts were out because the Phantom would block them all, keep the hitbox, and Air Swimmer could react to the to the end lag as little as there was, or at least the defensive option that he knew was coming afterwards. Ouch. Clip. Zelda went for this little down tilt, and the down tilt just clipped uh, Joe Pone. Kept him in place long enough for the Phantom to send him on the black zone. The Can amount of coverage, yeah, that, that like when you're stuck at the ledge, and it just it, I feel like. Joe Pone is just not able to replicate that for himself. Just Air Swimmer, for the most part, is just getting off the stage. All right. Three platforms? This is madness. Is this but we do have a tri-plat for, um, for this game three now. And I do think that a large change of scenery is a good idea. Also, the ledges might help out with some of those uh, phantom ledge tricks. Because the tilting might, uh, might make it a little bit more awkward. Yeah, while Pikachu loses some of his own ledge trapping setups uh, thanks to the slants, uh, they more help than hurt, particularly because there's a couple walls down the side of this stage 
which means he can send Thunder Jolts riding up them to disrupt Air Swimmer even more. Just by having that amount of coverage across stage, like, it it helps so much and in a way that FD just really could. Despite it being a very good Pikachu stage, you still have to acknowledge that, yeah, Zelda's really good there too. What was that? that was Of up smash to up tilt to thunder? I've never seen that happen. The flow charts are strong with this one, I suppose, and everything just keeps coming. Thank you, Slants, for avoiding the sweet spot. Or Pikachu being a small boy comes in handy exactly when you need it to. And now it looks like he's feeling it and starting to push a little bit more for all of these edge guards. Man, that fast fall in air was greedy as hell, but... He it almost worked. Still, Air Swimmer evens it up rather so uh, rather solidly, and now needs to start re uh, recontrolling the game state if he ha wants him to wants to call back into this game. But Jopone has been putting on the pressure. The change of scene are really, really helping him out. Oh, is he okay? Okay. I was gonna say, like, I know peak is light, but not that light. Hold on. <laughs> Continuing to survive here, and oh, Zelda has all of this ridiculous kill power. Oh, like the forward smash. Wow, at, at, at sub 80, I think, when that move connected. And just the light nature of Pikachu just easily coming it feels like such a weakness sometimes because the character can struggle to kill and when you're struggling to kill and your opponent is able to just end you at 80 at 60 that's okay what sure. are you gonna do <laughs> that stock finished before i could finish my thought about how stocks finish too quickly it all comes full circle and hey if it's his only weakness more or less then like, yeah, you better make it a big one. And if you're not playing safe enough or you're playing, honestly, too, uh, going too crazy with the movement options and the aggression that Pikachu can put on, yeah, against a control-like character with those big haymakers like the, uh, in like Zelda or in more prominently like the PK kids who both give, uh, who go both give Pikachu a fair amount of trouble. Yeah, they're gonna make you really really hurt for that level of aggression and for that defense like there was not really a good game plan a good single game plan that jopone could adapt to by forming his play styles together from game two game one team two and game three there's a winning cho a way to get around that in in there somewhere but it looked like Air Swimmer was just one step ahead, both in the matchup and in the gameplay today. 